Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you transform an object, you can scale, resize, skew, or otherwise adjust the boundaries of the selected object. There are many things that can be transformed, like layers, selections, and shapes. So to first apply a transformation, you'll need to have the object that you wish to perform the transformation on selected. In this case, we'll choose the image of the flower that we have here. We'll make sure we have that selected over in the Layers panel. Then you can apply an individual transformation by using the commands listed in the side menu that appears when you select Image and Transform from the menu bar. You can either select to skew, located right here, which allows you to horizontally and vertically slant the object, distort just under that, which will allow you to warp an object in any direction by stretching it, or perspective, which allows you to change the perspective you appear to have in regards to the object. Changing the perspective can come in handy when you shoot an image from below, for example, but want to distort the image to make it look like you took the picture from head on. Now let's go ahead, for example, and just choose Skew to give us an example. To skew this, then, all you do is click on the resizing handles and drag, and you'll see how it skews the object. When you have the transformation done, you just click Commit, and you'll see what it does. Let's go ahead and undo that. Now, if you want to apply multiple transformations, you may find it easier to select Image, Transform, and Free Transform from the menu bar. This command allows you to perform all of the transformations in one tool, instead of having to perform multiple transformations individually. When you transform a bitmap image, pixels are often added so that the image becomes less sharp with each individual transformation. You can use the free transform command to apply multiple transformations at once and avoid losing sharpness in bitmap images that you are transforming. When you select the free transform command, you'll see the bounding box surround the selected object as we see here. Note the small circle or crosshair in the middle of the bounding box. This is the reference point around which the transformations will occur. Now if you want to change the given center for the transformation effect, you can simply click on one of the small squares in the reference point location button in the options bar to set that point. That's located over here, so you just click on one of those small squares there and you'll change that reference point. Now, to distort the image in relation to the currently selected reference point, you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click and drag one of the handles to distort the object. You can distort the object freely by simply holding down the Control key on your keyboard and then clicking and dragging one of the selection handles. So, you can hold down the Control key and distort it like that. Now, to skew the object, hold down Control shift on your keyboard and then click and drag with the mouse on one of the handles that appear at the side of the object's mounting border to slant the object. So again, hold down Control shift and you can then slant the object if you'd like. You can change the perspective by holding down Control alt and shift on your keyboard and then clicking and dragging by one of the corner selection handles. Now if you want to move the selected object, place your mouse inside of the bounding border over the object and then just click and drag with the mouse to move it to a new location. So you can freely move it around like that. And then when you're done, of course, you can either hit the cancel button or the commit button to save your changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.